Hello everybody! In today's video, we are going to look at Osu Laser. I've been wanting to look at Osu Laser for a while, except that I just never made a video on it. I've been wondering whether I should make an Osu Laser video. I've been wondering about this for a while because to me, I think Osu Laser videos are kind of pointless unless it's showing something like brand new like a custom nod because if I discover something or if I say something that's missing, it's kind of pointless. It, the game is still in beta, it's, it's going to be updated later. I decided to still make an Osu Laser video today because I don't think everyone out there has an iPad Pro, so I guess I could just, just show how Osu Laser looks like on the iPad, at least right now. But before that, I kept seeing tweets about uh, how Osu Laser ran better than the standard Osu on PC. So I'm gonna just run through the PC laser real quick in this video too. And then I'll look at the iPad one. So we can just see the difference between them. Because right now the iPad version actually is a bit far behind compared to PC. So let's just take a look. Alright, so let's look at the obvious stuff. Uh, in Osu Laser, uh, clearly everything is called V2. This has been known since the very start. And also, by the way, Direct is now free for everyone in Laser. So even if you don't have Osu Supporter, you can you can download maps on Osu Direct. And also now, whenever you download maps, if you look inside the Osu folder, they are encrypted. You cannot pull out any of the data from maps like the MP3 or the wallpaper. It also looks like skins are encrypted too for some reason, which is kind of annoying when I want to edit my skins. Uh, you cannot refresh skins with Control Shift Alternate S like in stable right now. Other things are like you can get S with misses in laser, but when you import scores from standard to laser, they still show an A. So I think the way they import is probably by some JSON CSV file maybe. Also, the hundreds and fifties animations are different. The miss animations are definitely different. Also, the mapping editor is still work in progress. You can't map anything in laser. You can just see that it kind of works and kind of doesn't. A lot of things are missing. The timing editor is there. The storyboard, you can't storyboard yet. Also, you can multiplayer, but multiplayer seems to work completely differently. What happens in lobbies is that in each room, they have a bunch of maps they selected and you can play it, even if there's no one around. And other people can join the room later to play. So it's kind of like a multiplayer, except this. everyone's playing at a different time and they only wait the scores afterwards like a leaderboard. There's no real-time multiplayer yet, I think. So yeah. Uh, the chat is horrendously huge. I'm sure they're going to fix this soon. The social browser isn't working. I mean, it kind of does work, but it kind of doesn't. For example, you can see everyone here, and when you click on the players, you can see their player pages. Although it doesn't show their user page custom part. But how it doesn't actually really work is that when you try searching for someone, they don't show up on the search at all. So I guess it's kind of there, but kind of not there. They added some fun mods, which in fact is actually the stuff that I <laughs> looked at a really long time ago when the, when the creator first created them. And especially Transform. Here are some autistic discoveries that I went and looked out because I'm retarded. Gamma still works. The fading time for each node is the same. The playfield position is slightly different. It is now 12 to 14 pixels shifted higher than where it's supposed to actually be. Now for the claim that the laser works better than stable. I honestly can't tell. I did again, I barely even play Osu. But I did try some AR11 and... I have zero health! What? I went to compare the offsets of me playing AR11 on, on laser and stable and I noticed in stable I hit 10 ms later. Which is something I noticed that in, after playing laser for a bit in stable I kind of hit later. <laughs> wow, standard also had a jitter. Oh, the leg spike. Yeah. I'm not sure why this is the case, but uh, Karthi says it's something to do with one of the input stuff. They pull better, or, or was it the draw timings? I don't know. Because my frame rate also stable and, and also laser are both the same. Uh, but I also tried also laser on a laptop, uh, my brother's laptop. Laser didn't run as well on his laptop, so I guess this that to show that laser, despite trying to run better right now, it, it is now playable, but it's it's not better than stable um, stability <laughs> and uh, frame rate wise. So I guess it's still we're still waiting for the engine to get completely optimized. Alright, now looking at iOS laser on iPad. If anyone's wondering, I'm using a 2017 iPad Pro. It has a 120Hz screen, and yes, Osu laser runs on 120Hz. 
some games on iOS doesn't run 120 hertz, and that's it, it looks choppy and it's pretty bad. Uh, also, Direct is still free for everyone on iOS Laser as well. Except that well, the screen takes forever to load, so just be patient if you're wondering why there's no maps at all. I updated this version and I realized that there's not much differences between the iPad version and the PC version. Except for the settings screen, uh, all the settings are basically intact except for the ones that have you to import skins or your local scores. There's no skin support on iOS Laser just yet. I have no idea when skin support is coming but uh, I hope maybe soon. But before that, I think they have more important things to fix in iOS Laser before skins actually. And I'll show you that in a bit. The ranking screens and all that are all the same. The chat is still very huge. The social browser still has the same problem where if you search for someone, they don't show up. I think multiplayer works on iPad iOS, but it uses the same uh, weird concept of uh, leaderboards at the end instead of real-time multiplayer. I think the map editor is a bit behind from from the PC version, but I could be wrong. I haven't tested it myself or taken a look. Alright, now for gameplay with Apple Pencil. I think you guys can see, but the Android style, the also Droid style of playing doesn't work, where you use your two fingers to tap the side of the screen to do streams. But other than that, the, the game actually runs a lot better than Osu Droid, which surprised me. <laughs> and I'm really glad that it does run better than Osu Droid. The Osu Droid latency is insane, it's some incredible stuff. Although the game still freezes here and there, which is a problem. This is on iPad Pro 2, so that's, that's not good. <laughs> I feel... Other modes don't really work because there is no touchscreen support. For Mania, you can't tap anything at all since it's not touchscreen. You have to connect the keyboard to use it. Alright, now we're going to look at the game with a Bluetooth keyboard. Well, the Bluetooth keyboard is kind of laggy. Well, it's not the worst Bluetooth keyboard I've tried. It's, gener it's actually one of the better ones. It still drops inputs here and there. But we're not here to talk about the keyboard. I would have used an adapter connected to an actual keyboard if I could, except that all the stores are closed now and I can't get the adapter. Also another thing I noticed is that I I kind of expected Apple Pencil to have like zero latency in the cursor, except there is latency. I thought I was going crazy that, that, that the cursor trading behind was only a thing of the other cheaper pen that I've tried before, but it looks like it happens on the Apple Pencil too. Which is kind of strange to me and I don't know why this is happening considering that if I were to draw an Apple Pencil, it's basically real time and right underneath the tip. There is no hovering in the Apple Pencil, so you have to play drag play style if you're using a pen on iOS later. Generally, I found this a lot really enjoyable actually, surprisingly. <laughs> I just wish I had a proper keyboard. And if I had the adapter, I would be able to connect my tablet to the iPad 2 and test how that would feel. Alright, for Taiko. Ah, I feel a bit bad that the reflection of the light is conveniently over the spot where I'm supposed to hit. <laughs> I think Taiko and Mania is where it's most obvious where the inputs of the Bluetooth keyboard would drop, but we're not here to talk about the keyboard. I can see myself playing Taiko and Mania a lot on the iOS. If they had touchscreen support, they don't have touchscreen support. Y they are only playable if you have a keyboard. By the way, in Osu Laser Taiko, there's still anti mashing, which is kinda. Uh, Mania feels a little different. I know Peppy had issues with this adjusting the scroll speed to, to stable Mania. Um, well, most of my difficulty playing Mania is actually because of how the skin works. I can't tell whether this is supposed to be clicked or if it's the end of the whole node. It, it, it gets confusing when you're at a high play speed. And the game freezes more on the 
Taiko and Mania, I think, but I could be wrong. Alright, now we're gonna look at the fun mods. Uh, my first reaction to this thing was, what the hell am I looking at? This is the spin mod. Spin in, I think. <laughs> it's, it's one of the more playable ones to me. I, I, I believe. I, I think. I think this is my favorite one out of all of them. <laughs> And then we have the deflate mod, where the circles get smaller until you have to click them. And then we have the opposite, which is the inflate mod. I find the inflate mod harder to read than the deflate one for some reason. And then we have our favorite mod from a real long time ago. If it isn't transform. Originally known as a range. The transform mod is the craziest out of all of them. It looks the wackiest and the hardest to play actually. I'm not very good at this mod at all. I'm not as good as Zechi for the record. But um, well, this is the mod you if you want to flex to someone, you play. Even when you're not hitting anything, you look like an absolute god. <laughs> So overall, what do I think about Osu Laser on iPad? I think it's great. I, 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 it is very playable at its current state. If only they added touchscreen support for the rest of the modes. And that's, that's all I want to ask. I care about that more than the skins. And other than that, maybe they could fix the freezing here and there. And that I would be sold. But to be honest, uh, what I look for most to the laser version on iPad, iPhone, is the mapping editor. Because I really want to try mapping on an iPad. I'm no mapper, but I would pick up mapping if, there's, if the mapping editor on laser is completed. That's all I can say. This is this is this is an epic score. <laughs> and that's it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm really sorry that lately I've been using my webcam to record myself instead of like my camera. But it's been really hard to get my camera out because of everyone's at home kind of reasons. It's really hard to just find a time that's good. It's, it's just rushing nowadays, so... Thanks for watching.